congratulations, first of all, on becoming the program's all-time assist leader. Um, how does it feel to be able to accomplish something like that? And when you came in as a freshman, did you expect to accomplish this and have this as your legacy? Yeah, yeah. So uh, it's a blessing, you know, to, to be able to get to this point and, uh, you know, get the record and, and do do something, you know, that, that's big enough to be in the record book. So um, it's a blessing. But when I came here as a freshman, you know, I, I didn't really know exactly all that I was going to be able to accomplish, but I knew I wanted to leave my mark here. I knew um, that I wanted to to leave, you know, my name here in a big way. Um, and, you know, I'm blessed to see four years later uh, being the top of the assist. It's pretty plain and simple. You guys are, are on fire right now. Uh, 10 straight wins, you're 11 and one, a very condensed season. I mean, you guys didn't start until January. So obviously these are all conference games, but what has this season been like for you guys? What's working well for you and kind of what's the secret to your success? Um, I think for us, I think the secret is just continue to stay focused on, you know, what, what you can control. I think for us, uh, we've, we've done a great job of, um, and coaches have just done a great job of making sure that we're always ready when the opportunity presents itself. I think that, um, for us, you know, here, um, it's hard really to do anything else. We don't have much of a, a city around us or anything like that. So, you know, we're, we're so focused on, you know, being together and, uh, trying to grow as a team, I think on and off the court that, when our time did come to play, you know, we're ready. And when we did have those little laps where, you know, there was COVID situations and we didn't play, um, we were able to still move on in a good way and still be able to get, you know, some good things out of the weekend. For you, David Maynard, Jack Ferguson, you guys are all seniors. I know that this year has been very unprecedented for you all, but what does it mean for you to have this success in your last go around? Uh, it means a lot. It means a lot, you know, coming in here together, you know, we all wanted to, to win. You know, our goal was to come in here and, uh, you know, create a different culture and, and leave, you know, our legacy here. And I think, you know, us three have done in a big way. I believe, you know, we're probably the most winningest players in Colgate history. I would, you know, at least in win percentage. Uh, so, you know, I think we, we came in here and did, you know, what we uh, wanted to do and to be able to go out on a winning note uh, is great. Have, what have the younger guys been like to you as far as being receptive to that leadership? And what has being a leader for you been like? in teaching and trying to educate these young guys in the game. Yeah, yeah, our, our young guys are great. Um, they listen to everything. Uh, they really don't question much. Um, they kind of just do as they're told. And uh, I think that helps. It makes it easier on the guys, you know, at, that are, you know, at the top that have been here that, you know, have maturity in, in uh, college and in the game. Uh, I think for us, it, it's so easy because our young guys really don't cause any problems. Um, they're good in the classroom, good in the community, good on the court. So uh, for us, it's a blessing, you know, the, the guys that, you know, coach goes out and gets, uh, he knows who he wants for his program and uh, he knows who will continue to push this culture forward. So, uh, you know, we're blessed having the guys that we do all the way around. So the last time that you and I talked, we were talking about you declaring for the NBA draft. And then you decided to return to Colgate for your senior season because you said that there was some unfinished business that you had to take care of here. What needs to happen over these next two weeks in order for you to finish that business that you talked about? Uh, I think number one, you know, staying healthy uh, in this time of COVID, just making sure that, you know, everybody's doing what they're supposed to do and, and staying healthy. Um, next, I think just continuing to work, uh, not not getting complacent um, where we are and our wins and things like that. Uh, just continuing to, to know that we have room to grow, that our ceiling is much higher uh, than, you know, it is right now. So I think for us, it's just continuing to push, trying to get better every single day, trying to continue to compete and keep, you know, that fire lit up under us, uh, regardless of how many games we win. Um, and that's, I think, going to help us in the end when it comes to the Patriot League tournament. And watching you play, everything looks like it's it's fluid. Everything looks like it's in rhythm for you. Obviously, that comes from a lot of experience, but uh, this year being your senior season, do you feel like you're in control? Do you feel like you've gotten to the point where you can get whatever you want to get, so to speak? Uh, yeah, I do think that, you know, now just being more mature, uh, knowing more about the game, continuing to learn and grow. I think that uh, my coaches has, has helped put me in uh, positions to succeed and, you know, really just show everything that I have. I think that for me, um, it's much more about winning. And I think now I kind of feel like controlling the game and winning the game is kind of, you know, up to, you know, how I continue to to move about on the court and, um, you know, what I choose to focus on and, you know, what I continue to, to get my team to focus on. I think that defense is one thing that this year we've 
kind of really decided to to focus in on. Um, and I think that is uh, one of the main reasons why we win. And also we hit shots. I mean, we work on shooting all the time. We have a lot of guys who get a lot of extra shots in and things. So um, for me, it's spread the floor out a little bit. It's made my you know decision making a lot easier. And it's made, you know, the, the way I play a lot easier. So um, I'm, I'm thankful for the, the guys we got and, you know, the coaching staff for putting me in a great position this year and being able to succeed. And what have your coaches been saying? What's What's been the messaging from Coach Lengel over this really great stretch that you've been on since you guys started playing pretty much? Uh, same thing has always been. Just continue to control the things we can control. Uh, continue to, you know, go out there every single night and leave it on the floor, um, regardless if you're shooting well uh, or things like that. Just go out there and give everything you got. I think Coach Lango has really, um, you know, he's pressed the, the fact that we need to continue to grow. I think that's the biggest thing is he always stresses that whenever we're in practice, just continue to grow, you know, regardless of all these wins that we have. Our team is nowhere near uh, where it's supposed to be. So um, I think just continue – Continuing to stress that has helped our team continue to want to get in the gym, want to get extra work in, you know, wanting to to really uh, create different ways of, um, you know, scoring and maneuvering on the floor and things like that. So then when we do get in games, you know, we're never really stagnant. We always have something that we can do uh, to throw the defense off. And then also on the defensive end, um, we realize, you know, if you play hard on defense every single night, regardless of shots falling, you can still win games uh, by a respectable margin. So last question for you, you kind of touched on it a little bit, but just from perspective, just being able to, you know, play 12 games, you guys only uh, had to get two series postponed, if I can believe, just two weekends. Um, what has it been like for you to kind of get through this season virtually untouched, if I want to call it that, but um, just some perspective from you. Yeah, uh, it's been a blessing. You know, like I said, uh, our community is so small. Um, you know, it's good that, you know, a lot of these people don't really leave out and go to bigger cities or anything like that. Everybody's kind of in a local area. So COVID hasn't really been too bad here for us, um, luckily. Um, but I think for us, it's just continue to stay focused, you know, just continue to, to you know, focus on things we can whenever other teams get COVID and we can't play them, not focusing on, you know, not having a game, focus on what can we do to continue to get better. And I think uh, having that mindset for us has been such a blessing. I think that our coach kind of, you know, preaches those things and all of our coaches here just continue to help us get better all the time and give us, you know, new ways of uh, doing things. And I think that as you can do that, you know, you keep the attention of the players and um, it's easier for us to, you know, want to get up and do the things we do every single day. Okay, well, thank you so much for taking out the time. I really appreciate it.